Welcome back to the Toffee Boos, your source for all things Everton. I'm Ollie Hayes, and today I bring you the starting 11 show for Everton versus Fulham on Saturday at half five at Goodison Park. So let's get straight into it. Um, starting in goal it has to be Jordan Pickford. Um, and I, I say this in most starting 11 shows, it has to be Jordan Pickford. He's just too good to drop, isn't he? I don't think Dyche is going to think any different. Um, I think he's starting to put that difficult start to the season behind him. Um, obviously, a few mistakes here and there. Most notably, the one at Spurs. I think that's probably one that he singles out as the most disappointing for him. But yeah, as I said before, he seemed to be putting that bad run behind him. Um, there was a few question marks, weren't there, um, about his place as England goalkeeper? Could he keep? You know, could he potentially lose that number one jersey for England? But you know, all those Evertonians know how good of a keeper he is, and and you know the quality that he's got in goals. So. Fingers crossed he can put a, a little bit more of a run together now. Obviously, two clean sheets in a row with the um, point against Newcastle and then obviously the away win at Ipswich. So, yeah, that's definitely positive. But um, Jordan Pickford will be in goal um, for Saturday against Fulham. Moving into the back four, um, I think Vitaly Mikalenko will keep his place at left back. Um, it was good to have him back against it, Rich, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, Mikalenko has always been a player that I've liked um, in his time at Everton. I think he's a solid, you know, a solid left fullback. I don't think he's, you know, going to set the world like going forward. We know that. We know what he is in terms of defensive fullback. He offers you, you know, pretty much. You know, sure, the defensive solidity in terms of that. So, yeah, as I said before, solid, decent to have him against back, uh, de decent to have him back against Ipswich. Um, and yeah, I think uh, Dyche will opt for him at left back. Um, moving into two centre halves, I think James Tarkowski will keep his place alongside Jared Branthwaite. I think Branthwaite will come straight back in following his um, injury over the international break, and obviously he missed out against Ipswich. Um, yeah, so Branthwaite straight back in for Keane. I think it might be a little bit harsh on Michael Keane, um, but you, you know you can't drop Jared Branthwaite when he when he's available. Unfortunately, he's such a top player. He shores us up so much defensively. I think we do look a, a much more solid team with Jared Branthwaite at the heart of that defence. And obviously, James Tarkowski is his his main partner in terms of a defensive um, too. So yeah, maybe a little bit harsh on Michael Keane. Obviously, a very good goal against Ipswich, um, but we know how well James Tarkowski and Jared Branthwaite work together. And in a back four, I think. It's against a Fulham team which are obviously high fly and scoring a decent amount of goals at the moment I think we're going to need all the the all the attributes that we've got in terms of defence and and yeah Branthwaite and Tarkowski do offer the, the best partnership in terms of two central defenders so yeah that's going to be my, my back two of um, central defenders moving on to right back I think Ashley Young will will keep his place. I think Dyche will, will opt for Ashley Young. He's played well recently. He's, he's quietly gone about his business. I think he's been our best fullback this season, in my opinion. He's he's definitely showed that you know he does have the level of professionalism to still play, even though he is thirty nine and you know ticking slowly on towards forty. So. I think, yeah, Ashley Young will keep his place against Fulham on Saturday. If Nathan Patterson is fit, um, does that change my opinion on whether Dyche will use him? I think Dyche will probably still look to use Ashley Young until Nathan Patterson is fully fit. But maybe we might see Nathan Patterson later on for a little cameo, depending on how the game is going. But yeah, I think that's my back four. It'd be Mikolenko, Branthwaite, Tarkowski and Ashley Young. Moving into midfield, um, obviously we saw Abdelai Decore and Idris Agana Gay play against Ipswich. I don't think Daish is going to opt for that too. I think uh, Oral Mangala will come back in uh, alongside Idris Agana Gay. Listen, I, I think Decore looks a little bit shaky on the ball, in my opinion, against Ipswich. And you know, a team that we are going to have to break down in Fulham, I think you know Mangala offers you a little bit more solidity in there. He offers you a little bit more of a calmer head on the ball. So, you know, he, he, he can maybe carry the ball a little bit better than the Corey. So, you know, if we are looking to play a counter-attacking style against Fulham, Mangala does offer a, a better option than Abdullah to Corey. And obviously, Adressa Garnagay, I think, keeps his place. I think he's been fantastic, in my opinion. Um, he played really well against Ipswich, broke up the play well, and then he also carried the ball forward, you know, a great deal. So I think he, he is a player that, you know, we need to keep in that in, in that midfield just for a little bit of solidity. But yeah, Mangala, I think, will play against long, uh, against um, Fulham alongside Adressa Garnagay. Then moving a little bit further forward, um, playing in that attacking midfield role, I know there's been a lot of question marks on whether it should be Eliman and Jai, Dwight McNeil, you know, even Jesper Lindstrom. I think he's a player that can play there, but I do think it will be Dwight McNeil to keep his place in that central role um, a bit further forward than the than the midfielders. He's playing well centrally, isn't he? He's got another assist under his belt against Ipswich and he is on good form. He had very good stats in September. So I don't think there's any reason why McNeil should, should lose his place in, in attacking midfielders, you know, that central attacking midfielder. So I think it's an interesting one. Obviously, a lot of people have had a lot of debates in, in recent weeks on whether Illiman and Jai will be better deployed in that midfield. But, 
I do think Dyche will opt for, for Dwight McNeil in there and, and you know, keep it relatively similar to what we've seen in recent weeks. But moving into the front three, uh, obviously I've mentioned him earlier um, about Illumin and Jai. I think he will start off the left. He's just magic, isn't he? He's, he's so, so good. He's so good to watch. You know, I think he is probably the sole reason I'm going to watch Everton at the moment, just because of him. Just every time he gets the ball, when he does that little thing where he, he puts his foot on top of the ball and rolls it, you just don't know what he's going to do. And no defender in the league can seem to stop him at the moment. He's absolutely on fire. So... I'm really glad um, that you know a summer signing has come good for us and I'm just hoping he can go from strength to strength now. But yeah, Illiman and Jai, I think, will start off the left. I think that will be Sean Dyche's preferred option off the left. And then off the right-hand side, um, I think Jesper Lindstrom will come back in. I think um, you know Dyche will probably look at uh, Jack Harrison's performance against Ipswich and maybe say that he, did, that he didn't really capitalise on the amount of space he was given by Leif Davis on that left-hand side. And maybe we need a little bit more of a, a different option because it'll be similar with Anthony Robinson. Obviously, he's a fullback that likes to get forward he is very quick of course and you know he, he he will probably outpace Jack Harrison more than he will Jesper Lindstrom so I think Dyche will look to, to tactically tweak it a little bit and put Jesper Lindstrom off that right hand side and then up front um, obviously this was probably a, a big conversation last season obviously in, in all the starting 11 shows I did I, I always made a, a slight um, argument for Beto to start up front but I do think it will be Dominic Calvert-Lewin and um, I think the 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 argument for Beto to start up front is is slightly dwindling. I don't think Daish will opt for Beto at all this season. I think it'll be Armando Brogia once he's fully fit. But yeah, I think Dominic Calvert Lewin will start um up front in the number nine spot against Fulham. Listen, I think he's doing the right things, Dominic Calvert Lewin. He's he's doing what Daish wants in terms of, you know, winning the ball high up the pitch, winning corners, winning th winning throw ins, winning set pieces here and there. You know, he's he's good in the air, we know that, but he just isn't putting the ball in the net. And unfortunately, as a striker, as much as you, you do the hard yards and, and you do the good work off the ball and, you know, winning little margins here and there, if you don't put the ball in the net, unfortunately, that's how you're going to be judged. So, you know, I just want to see Dominic Cavalu and put the ball in the net a little bit more. Um, obviously, he had two big chances against Itch, which uh, where he was he was one-on-one -on -one with, with Mjoric and he didn't put the ball away. So he's doing most other things right, but can he just put the ball in the net? That's what I want to see. But yeah, that is my starting eleven for Everton versus Fulham on Saturday. I'll just give you a quick rundown of that. So it's Jordan Pickford in goal, Vitaly Mikolenko, Jared Branthwaite, James Tarkowski and Ashley Young as the back four. Midfield two of Oral Mangala and Idrissa Garnagay with Dwight McNeil a little bit further ahead in the attacking, uh, attacking midfield role. And then a front three of Illiman and Jai, Jesper Lindstrom off the right-hand side and Dominic Calvert-Loon up front as the sole striker. Let me know your thoughts on this starting eleven. Do you think Daish is going to opt for anything else? Do you think I've, I've got it wrong slightly? But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon.